Hello, we are live. One second while I share this in the Facebook group and then we will get started. Okay. Share in the group. All right, we are shared and we are live. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. You may notice two new artworks behind me. <laughs> I got some uh, more pictures from my office this past weekend. Today, I am excited to share with you all seven money management rules that totally changed the game for me and my budget and really made a difference in my journey to financial freedom. Um, my goal for sharing these money management rules with you is that you can learn from them and apply them to your situation so that you can succeed in your own financial freedom journey. So I'm gonna dive right in. If you are here with me, say hello. If you have questions along the way, say, you know, hello, ask away. And if you're on the replay, say hi. So have to throw that out there. Okay, first money management rule that just changed the game for me is tracking your spending. So if any of my past clients are watching this, you guys already know the importance of tracking your spending, but what a game changer this one is. And me personally, I have been tracking my spending since I was 16. Um, once I started you know, working at 16, I would deposit money into my bank account and I had a check register and I would literally track my expenses in the check register. Once I went to college, I kind of threw that practice out the window. I shouldn't have, but I did. And then I have now been tracking regularly since 2016. In fact, the system that I currently follow is something I've been following since 2016 and is the system that I have my clients follow too. And it's just such a game changer. I mean, when you can see where your money is going, you can do something about it. You can see, okay, I'm spending way too much money on food or shopping or things I don't need. Time to tighten it up. So money management rule that just is a game changer, track your spending. Second money management rule that just changed the game for me and really makes a difference in a lot of people's lives is pay yourself first. I'm sure you've heard this before, but if not, it basically means that the minute you get paid, you transfer something into savings. Now, one book that I really, really, really like and highly recommend is The Richest Man in Babylon. And this is one of the principles that is talked about in that book. In the book, they recommend 10%. So 10% of whatever you earn goes straight to savings, pay yourself first, pretend like it doesn't exist. I think that's a great rule to follow. 10% may seem like too much for you. That's okay. Do what you can. Just get into the habit of paying yourself first. The minute you get paid, transfer something to savings. And you can make it really easy on yourself by having direct deposit set up, by having automatic transfer set up, by you know scheduling your payments ahead of time. So whatever you can do to get into the habit of paying yourself first, even if it's not 10%, doesn't matter what it is, do that. Total game changer. And you'll get used to it. Okay, next money management rule that changed the game expenses should never exceed income. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about this before, but basically you need to make sure that at a minimum you are breaking even each month, meaning your expenses don't exceed your income. Ideally, you should be making more than you spend so that you can save or pay off debt or you know do whatever you need to do to reach your financial goals. Unfortunately, if you are not making enough to cover your expenses, you are likely going deeper into debt or tapping into savings, both of which are not good if you are on the journey to financial success. So if your expenses do exceed your income, 
you have two options. You can make more money or reduce your expenses. Sometimes you can only cut back your expenses so much, and that's why I always recommend increasing your income if you can. Wow, oh, moving right along. I see some people hopping on and off. Say hi if you're hopping on. I'd love to hear from you. But uh, moving right along, money management rule number four that totally changed the game for me. Understand the difference between a want and a need. Now, <laughs> this can be tough because I feel like women who work hard and you know do the right things with their money, all their bills are paid, it's easy to say, uh, I deserve this. Or, you know, you justify your want. And that doesn't always have to be the case. Yes, you, you do deserve it, but you deserve financial success more than you deserve that material item. So understanding the difference between wants and needs, and then more importantly, saying no to the want so that you can reach your goals is a huge game changer when it comes to managing your money and working towards financial freedom. It was a tough one for me to get to, but now, you know, if there's something I want, I, you know, put it on a goal list or something for later, I don't need it right now, and I work towards it. Nine times out of 10, I usually don't want that thing anymore, there's something else I want, so it's a good practice as well in self-control. Okay, next up, money management rule number five, it is not how much you make that counts. There is this misconception that if you have a lot of money, then you can pay off all your debts faster, you have money in savings, life is just so much better, and that's not necessarily true. It is not about how much money you make, it's about what you do with the money you make. And I say this because I've seen it. So I've worked with clients who were making six figures and they were not saving a dime, they had debt, they couldn't control their spending, they didn't have a budget, they weren't doing the right things with their money. On the contrary, I've worked with women with salaries as low as 40,000 a year who paid off all their debt, built up savings every month, stuck to their budget, and the difference is, it's how you treat your money. It's what you do with your money that really matters as opposed to how much you make. So if you think that more money is going to solve all your problems and change your situation, it's not. It can help, don't get me wrong, it can help, but you have to do the right things with it. Once I learned that, and once I applied that and got over, oh, I don't make enough, no. It, it, it was a game changer. So it's not about how much you make, but what you do with the money you do make, and making the right financial decisions for you to help you reach whatever goals you have for yourself. All right, next money management rule that changed the game for me, invest as early as possible. If you are in your 20s and working a full-time job, please start contributing to a 401k plan or an IRA. If you're in your 30s, 40s, if you have not done so yet, please do so. Investing as early as possible is a game changer because the longer your money has to grow on top of itself, the more you will have when you are ready to take that money out. It is compounding growth, and just like compounding interest can work against you with credit card debt, compounding returns can work for you in so many good ways in the form of investing. But the more time you give yourself to invest and let your money grow, the better off you'll be. I had my first job out of college, I was 21 years old. I started contributing to a 401k plan instantly. Fast forward nine years, you guys know I'm 30, almost 31, oh my gosh. And my retirement account is almost six figures in just that short amount of time, contributing five to 10 to 12% over the course of time, and that is the power of investing early. So if you take anything away from this video, take that away, up your contribution, start investing, it will make a difference. Okay, can you guys tell I'm passionate about that? All right, last money management rule that changed the game for me, 
budget to understand your situation. Okay, hear me out. Budget to understand your situation. Until you can see how far your income can truly take you, you don't really know what you are capable of. And when you have a budget, you are able to list out everything you spend money on in the course of a month and how much you make in the course of the month. And when you see that information, you can do something about it. You can see that, hey, I should have a profit of $500 each month. Why am I in debt? Or why do I have nothing in savings? Budgeting can help you understand your situation and helps you make the right step forward, make the right move so you can put yourself in a better situation. Not knowing what your income is capable of doing just hinders your financial success, slows you down, and we don't have time to waste because time is not waiting for any of us. So those are the seven money management rules that just totally rocked my world, changed the game for me. I'm implementing these every single day. I encourage you to do the same. You will see a difference. I am also writing a blog post on this coming out tomorrow, so definitely read that. I will link to it once it goes live tomorrow. And lastly, you know, if any of these money management rules scared you or, you know, you don't know how to move forward with it, schedule a free consultation with me. This is what I help women do. I help them manage their money and budget to success. And I want to help you if you need it. Okay? So I'm here for you all. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you soon. Bye, everyone.